Today we are gathered to discuss the much anticipated Makeup by Mario line. I am so excited that this line exists. I'm so excited that he finally gave us a feel and a taste and a touch of his mastery. I have been lucky enough to go to two of his master classes. They were some of the best professional experiences of my entire life. The focus of his launch thus far for his line was all eyes. This is the master eye prep and set i have mine in the shade medium and it's an eye primer kit so there are two cream products one powder product they have three different tones there's light medium and deep this is meant to even out the skin tone on your lids and also prep your lids and the eye area pretty much for eyeshadow but also it's meant to start the contouring process so makeup by mario or mario is really into layering and building up a look rather than just going in intensely with one product. The methods he discussed during his classes with different products, multiple different products, he has combined a lot of those concepts into his line. So this is one of those things where I remember him going in and contouring the eye with base products first before we even got to the eyeshadows. It's so cool to see these things in my hands. <laughs> so this is the prep set. The powder is really nice too. You use it on the lids, but you can also technically use it around the face. I don't think I would set your entire face with that powder, but definitely for touch-ups, it's great to have. There are three eyeshadow palettes. The first one here is the Master Matte Palette, and oh, this is just matte nude brown heaven the variety of shades and specifically the undertones that are in here is really what does it for me you have cool tone warm tone you have these amazing olivey mustard based browns they're not very frequently found in like mass retail palettes this palette if i'm not mistaken he actually based off of different skin tones next up is the master metallics some of them are really foiled some some of them have more glitter to them. You can mix and match a lot of these, top them off with each other. It just gives you so much dimension. And the colors in here are truly so pigmented and so buttery and lightweight. They almost kind of slick down when you go into them with your finger or with a brush. And I kind of prefer that because with metallics and shimmers, sometimes fallout can be an issue. And when you have something that's really chunky and soft and powdery, while it may be incredible, Incredibly pigmented. It can also be very messy and difficult to work with. And these, because of that slippery texture, are actually very easy to work with and so easy to layer. The next palette is the Master Metals. This palette was created based off of the Earth's natural metals, I believe. So there's silver, gold, copper, bronze, and then he added rose gold. The textures of these shadows is incredible. It's almost like that gel powder formula. They are so crazy pigmented but this was really created with artistry in mind because there's actually a snap out palette that you can take out and with the master manipulator which is why this product is in the release you can put a couple drops of this in scrape out with the associated spatula some of the product onto the dish and then you create this waterproof liquid that has a foiled effect. Once that bad boy dries down, it is completely transfer proof, waterproof, and this allows you to make incredibly metallic foiled eyeliners, eyeshadows, or even body paint if you so please. And this can really be used with any powder truth be told next up are the three master crystal reflectors technically they can be used wherever you really want they're like a spongy mousse to powder formula this one here is quartz there's no real underlying shade to the product but you have so much silver and almost what looks like pink and blue icy reflex in there next up is citrine which citrine is a gold that has gold silver and kind of brighter gold or bronzy reflects in there and it gives such an amazing true yellow gold 
wet look. And lastly is Bronzite. It has a rose gold nude base, but there's tons of silver, bronze, pink, gold reflex in there. And this one I find is like a nude reflective topper. There are a couple products from different brands on the market now that are a little bit similar or similar conceptually at least to these reflectors. So I thought I would do a quick comparison of the ones that I actually have. The first one being from Fenty Beauty, the Diamond Bombs. They come in different shades. And the most popular one is Trophy Wife, where when I saw Citrine, that was the first thing I thought of. This one here is Cognac Candy. I don't have Trophy Wife with me here right now. For the Fenty, the product itself is a little more balmy feeling. It almost has a little hydration to it. And it's not quite as reflective as the Makeup by Mario ones. The next one is from Shiseido. These are the Aura Dews, and this is in the shade Cosmic 03. So that's right here on my hand, and it's very similar in texture to the Makeup by Mario. However, the finish of it, again, is more similar to Fenty, where it is a micro fine glitter. It's not quite as reflective. Then you have the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. They feel more powdery based rather than that bouncy mousse texture and they are beautifully reflective but they're reflective in a metallic way not so much in a glitter particle way and then lastly are the Natasha Denona crystal top coats this one is in the shade bronze they have a more packed texture like they're stiffer and harder again very subtle it gives you more of that slightly glossy or slightly wet look to the eye this product is the master secret glow highlighter inexpensive it is a bomb highlighter and it's called expensive because mario always says that an expensive highlight is one that looks like it's naturally your skin like you are just incredibly hydrated you have exercised you eat greens you're super healthy really fit and that's the expensive glow not an actual highlighter or a powder or anything that has shimmer this texture is a stickier bomb and he said he created it with that stickiness so it just kind of sits where you apply it without moving or breaking apart what is underneath while it does grip where you put it if you have powder it sometimes will actually lift the powder underneath so it's a little bit tricky to work with but i actually have it on now you know how if you wear a highlighter that is a shade deeper than your skin tone and in certain angles it looks like you have a dark stripe that's what this will kind of do to me sometimes or in some angles but what I have found works really well for me is to apply it and then set it with translucent powder which is how I have it on now and you get that expensive glow but it doesn't look so much like a dark stripe coming down my face. I do have to say though that Danessa Myricks has, I think it's called the Dew Glow. She has a clear one. She also has a couple different shades. It is not only larger than this, but it is a totally different texture where it has so much more slip. As far as ease of application, that one kind of wins because it doesn't move anything that's underneath around. But I think this one probably looks more glossy. And I think a lot of that has to do with the texture and the formula of this and a little bit goes a very long way so be light-handed and you can use this on the lids same thing with the Danessa the brightening pencil is a classic wooden pencil that you sharpen the formula is awesome it glides onto the lower waterline really easily and also grips and stays there it is fairly long wearing and it doesn't leak it is a true nude shade so it's like a peachy nude it's not a white this pretty much means that anyone with any skin tone can use this the other two pencil liners are the perfect brown and super black they have a brush on the end which is awesome because the brush is actually really really well made it's flat and it has a good flexibility where you can really blend out the liner and create your own personalized line these caps are airtight you gotta actually tug it but that's amazing because it's going to lock in the moisture and keep your eyeliner super super creamy it is a wooden pencil so you're gonna keep sharpening it i love wooden pencils because they retain the moisture in the product from start to finish they are so pigmented are you kidding me? I barely pressed down on my hand. You have a little bit of time, actually quite a bit of time, to really play around with the product and move it around. Once it sets though, this is not going 
anywhere. And then this here is the perfect brown, which truly is the perfect brown. It's deep, it's dark, it's the perfect balance of warmth and cool tones. Both of the darker eyeliners as well as the brightener liner come with a pencil sharpener, which I thought was really nice. The last eyeliner is the Master Matte Liquid Liner in Super Black. This is a felt tip liquid liner. This was another product that he actually created on purpose to give you time to play with and fix and correct. But after he said, I think 15 minutes, it's set. It's not going anywhere. It is waterproof. But as far as how black and potent that is, I think it's pretty good. So you can get really, really fine with just that very edge. When I tested this, I didn't notice that it creased. I went out for a walk, I was sweating, it didn't bleed or drip down. I could layer over it consistently without it getting patchy or tugging. And the way that Mario showed this is to lay down your pencil liner first and then go over the pencil liner with this. Not only is it easier to get more precision, but you're also going to get the blackest, longest wearing eyeliner ever. I am so excited that he came out with brushes. It makes applying these products, but also any eye products so effortless and easy. EF1, which is double-sided, it's the only double-sided brush. And this one is what he uses with his primer kit. So you have a flat, thicker kind of concealer brush on this side and then a fluffier powder brush on this side. This is the EF2. It is a really fluffy blending brush that has a very tapered top though. So you can really buff out colors and get a blown out shade, but you can also get a lot of precision with the very end of that brush. You then have the E3 brush, which is a flattened oval brush that also comes to a little bit of a tapered point. This is amazing for blending, for packing on color, or for more precision work, like in the crease, if you want to create a soft cut crease. Then you have E4, which is a flat oval shader brush. This one is really, really ideal for packing on color all over lid colors and even blending out lid colors and crease colors. And then finally, you have the E5, which is a tiny little flat precision brush. You can use it for eyeliner, for smudging out shadows, for cut creases, for your lower lash line. The gentle makeup remover wipes are the last item. These refreshing biodegradable wipes are infused with cucumber water. They're my go-to for gently and effectively removing makeup without drying out the skin. I do agree with that. They don't dry out the skin. They remove makeup so well and it didn't leave any residue behind either, which I also really like. And there's 25 wipes in one container. Now that we've covered all the products, let's get into the tutorial. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Master Eye Prep and Set in the shade Medium. And I'm taking the EF1 brush. Okay, so I'm going in with the lighter shade first onto my lid. So I'm bringing that lighter shade all the way up to my brow bone. I'm flipping the brush and going into the deeper shade and I'm just gonna take this along the crease a little to create just a super light contour. I'm going to set all of that by flipping the brush and tapping right into the powder and pressing that all over my lid. So I'm gonna press it and then I'm going to dust it pressed and now just lightly dusting it to make sure no excess powder is just like sitting on top. I'm going to tap in with the same brush and just lightly dust that underneath my eye. It is a lighter powder than my skin tone so I'm going in with a very light hand, but it's pretty thin, so it's very close to translucent almost. I'm gonna clean my brushes off as I go because I'm going to use just the Makeup by Mario brushes for the entire look. I feel like a lot of times colors and bold, intense looks can be intimidating or unrelatable actually to a lot of people. I wanna show you guys that you can definitely create everyday super wearable looks with all of these items, but 
there's also a lot of room for creativity. So I'm gonna go in with the Master Mattes palette first and I'm going to slowly build up my crease a little bit. Now with any tutorial, just remember, you can stop at any point, you can continue past a point. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna start off with this trio of shades right here and i'm going in with the ef2 brush and i am keeping my eye a little bit open and popping that into my crease and i like to bring my crease shade up to meet my brow almost on the inner corner i just like the way that shape looks on my eyes. And as always, my motto is build up in slow layers, take your time, because it's easier to build something, it's a lot harder to erase it. So that was this shade here. Now I'm gonna do this shade and then pop a little bit of this warmer brown. Even though my movement is rapid, the actual pressure on my lid is so little from the brush because your lids and your lips are the thinnest skin on your face and those show signs of aging more. So you always want to be extra delicate with them. And I'm absolutely using the same brush for all of these crease colors, by the way. Make sure you are blending and checking and blending and checking to make sure both eyes are even. And now this is the more red-brown shade. I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner and then blending that in. Now into the Master Metallics palette, I'm going to focus with this bronzy rose gold shade and I'm taking the EF1, which I cleaned off. I'm actually gonna go in with a clean finger and drag that color all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take my EF2 and just really lightly with the very end, I'm going to blend out that top of the metallic shade just so there's no uneven space. Like look at this eye versus this eye. I'm just going to tap it onto my crease area. And then I'm taking my EF2 brush and just blending it up. And what happens with the metallics when you blend them out a little bit, you lose some of that foiled effect, but you get a slight shimmer. It's just so soft and I really love that diffused look. Now I'm going in with the Master Metals palette. I'm going to just take my ring finger and I'm going in with bronze. So I'm gonna start off with the middle of my lid. And now I have decided to put it all over my lid. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> that was fast. I'm going to take the E4 brush and I'm going into the bronze shade and I'm actually going to just lay that over my whole lid. This is like, what I want to wear on my eyeballs every single day. I'm taking Citrine and Bronzite, which are the Master Crystal Reflector Highlighters, and I'm going to tap these onto the center of my lids for that spotlight effect. Bronzite first, and just using my fingers for this, and focusing right on the center over where your pupil would be. Before I go into citrine, I have a little bit of fallout, so I'm just taking my powder brush with no extra powder, and this is the e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm just dusting that away, and it dusts away beautifully. So now I'm going in with citrine, same ring finger, and I'm just tapping that right over where I have applied bronzite. Now I'm popping back into the Master Metallics. Whoa, oh my God, I almost dropped that. Ninja. Now with the E5 brush, I'm going back into the Metallics palette and using these two, which are five and eight, and I'm going to pop these into the inner corner and along my brow bone.
I kind of want to take bronzite and pop that into my inner corner too. I'm just using it literally on my pinky finger though. I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line using the same shades that are on my lid. I'm going in with the EF2 brush first, and I'm starting off with my matte shades, going into the darker two that I used and focusing most of it on the outer corner and then blending it in. And now taking the E4, I'm going back into Metallics 3, which is that bronzy shade all over the lid. And I'm popping this underneath on the lower lash line as well. I'm going into the Master Metals palette and taking bronze on the same brush. And I'm dragging that right underneath. But I'm keeping bronze closer to the lower lash line rather than blending it all the way out. And now I'm actually going back into the EF1 brush and just sweeping away any fallout. I'm going to take Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the perfect brown. I'm just dragging that pencil into my lash line. I'm gonna use the brush that's on the other side of the pencil because I usually always use a brush to smudge out my liner. And then other side. So just keep playing around and adjusting until you get wings on both sides that you really like and that are even or as even as possible. It's so easy to do because the pencil is so creamy and soft. So just be patient and use small strokes and small additions of the liner rather than just going all in right away. Now with the Master Pigment Pro in Super Black, I'm just going to take this as close to my upper lash line as possible to create just a little more intensity around the lash line. And I'm also smudging this out as well. I'm gonna use the Master Matte's Brightening Pencil in Light One and just line the inner rim of my eye. With the E5 brush, I'm going back into Metallics 8, which is right here, that gold shade, and I'm just touching up the inner corner highlight. With the Master Secret Glow Highlighter, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to the high points of my cheekbones. I have not used a powder highlight today. I'm just warming up the product on the back of my hand. I'm going to just tap this onto my cheekbones. Lashes, brows, and lips are on, and this completes the look. I absolutely love the way this look turned out. And I'm not just saying that because I love Makeup by Mario. I love him because he knows what he's doing, and that reflects in all of his products. If I had to pick my most favorite products, though, I would say the eyeshadow palettes, the eyeliners, and the brushes are definitely tied in first place for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and review leave a comment down below and let me know if you try any of the products from this line and what you think about it because I'm curious to see what everybody else thinks about the Makeup by Mario stuff. But until my next video, thank you as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you soon. Bye!